Okay, so we've made it to the end of the year. This is the last video of 2019. And I thought I would shoot a video talking about what I think 2020 is gonna look like for me. Hey, what's up, I'm Ken, this is Ken Fu TV. And every Monday I release videos on martial arts philosophy and technique and training and kind of my journey and how it goes. So if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Otherwise, let's get to talking about 2020 and what this next year looks like. I've never been a huge fan of resolutions. Uh, just never really been my thing. So instead, I just like to set some goals. Here are some things that I plan on doing, period. You know, it's like the difference between making a lifestyle change and a diet, right? A diet is something you do hoping to be temporary. I wanna make a big correction in my weight or my, my appearance. And then I plan on immediately scrapping that as soon as that worked, because that's how diets tend to go, right? Making a change in your lifestyle is different though. And so for my training, one of the things I wanted to look at is just targeting some specific things that I just wanna work on. So just dial in some focus so that as I go into this next year, I'm not scattershot, I've got specific things that I wanna to try to continue to focus on. And as that happens, it makes it easier for me to just take a look back and say, am I on track? Am I, am I sticking with, with that? Am I head in the direction I intended to head. With this whole video project, one of the things that I can do is I can come back to this later and just have some updates and go, okay, accountable to the internet. Here's, here's what it looks like. Here's what's happened so far. So as you know, I really train primarily in three areas, right? Uh, Okinawan Karate, uh, Kali Eskrima, and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So we'll just talk about those three. So let's start with Okinawan Karate. One of the first advanced katas I ever learned was Chinte. It was a kata that uh, one of my senior students at that time, later to be kind of my sensei, personal sensei, you know, I have the main sensei who continues to be a huge influence for me. He's my main instructor. But, you know, you get, you develop that personal relationship with, with other students in the class. And, and so he was a black belt that, that kind of took me under his wing, continued to work on stuff together. And we kind of traveled this journey together for a long time, which was really cool. So he would train after class. And one of the katas he was working on was chinte. It's kind of a funny story in our school, one of the first katas that you develop for black belt is Basai Dai. Uh, very, very well known Okinawan kata. Every system has a version of it. It was actually like the fourth one that I learned because I had been training with with the sensei and had just, what would happen is I'd stay after class and he would work on his things and I would just quietly work with him for the most part. You know, occasionally he'd have me work some bunkai with him or something like that. But for the most part, he'd be working his katas and I would just tuck into the background and, and work them with him and just do my best to kind of keep up and, and go. And so one of the first ones I ever learned was chinte. Translated to mean China hand, right? So the China hand kata. Now it's actually been a number of years since I've really spent time on that kata. So I thought that what I would do this year is I'd just spend the entire year focusing on it. I'll continue to work all the other stuff that I do, but just have one thing that is where my delivery system is headed towards, where my focus is, where my training goes. So it's important to allow kata to inform your training, give you some perspective. And so for me, the perspective this year will be coming from Chinte. I'm gonna splice in some footage of, of me performing the kata as I, as I do it now, which is really rough and, and everything because I haven't done it in, in some time. And so uh, this gives me a good starting point, something I can look back at and go, okay, where was I December of 2019? What did this kata look like? And then as I continue to work and continue to develop that kata, continue to work its application and, and build its fighting system into my body and see what the kata looks like a year from now. So you'll see there's different pieces of it and it may look similar to a way that you've done it. It may look completely foreign and everybody's different katas kind of look different. But that's the plan, that's the path, that's where I'm headed. So over time, I'll kind of check in and kind of show, here's where I'm at right now, or here's some things. And that may even inform some of the videos that I'm working on because it'll be something that's on my mind. For the Eskrima, I've really decided that the main focus that I wanna have this year is gonna be range, distance, and posture. I have a tendency to work a lot closer than I want to. Uh, our particular system is more of a Largo Mono system. It's further away and I have a tendency to work a lot closer. I can move back out to Largo, but not as well as I'd like to. And so I want to really focus on that particular methodology. Uh, with that comes, you know, with that distance and that range comes my posture. Uh, I have a tendency to kind of lean a little bit, very straight back, so the posture is good 
but it's a little more lean. I want to I want to play with with what posture can look like. Uh, so we'll see. And then with the jujitsu, mostly just mobility. I really really want to focus on mobility, moving smoothly. That's the area that I feel needs the most growth. It's the area that I feel is the most important. Just being able to move from thing to thing fluidly and just be able to move my body fluidly, develop mobility in my, in my joints and range of motion, develop flexibility, all those things I'd like to continue to work on. So hopefully I'll see an improvement in that area too, right? Core fundamental stuff, really. But that's where I want to focus. So what about you? What are you training on this year? What is your, your goals? What are the things that you want to improve on? And maybe they're not even martial. What are the things that you want to improve on this year? You know, pick a focus, dial it in and, and work on it. See where it takes you. See what happens when you really dial in on a particular, particular thing and just chase it. It can be really powerful. That's it for today. Look forward to doing way more of these in this upcoming year. Going to keep doing them every Monday. Going to keep throwing out the Ken Shares Ken Fu stuff with technique and that kind of stuff. Really want to try to, to build up on the Brewing Budo side of things. Time has been the challenge there, uh, but really hope to get that kind of kicked off this year. And in the meantime, like this video, subscribe to the channel, do all that kind of stuff, share it, share this stuff with people. That helps a ton. And I'll catch you in the next one.